from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. This is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. We'll see Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Thank you, Coach. We are about 15 miles west of downtown Phoenix at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here's the punter, Bradley Pinion, on to get us started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. On the return, here's Edmonds. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Cardinals making their way out, and it's the number one overall pick in 2019, Kyler Murray at the helm. And what's a quarterback's best friend? balance i think you're right <laughs> i agree with you you know a lot of guys would say great receiver right a terrific offensive line but i agree with you balance because if you can run the ball effectively that just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read and they said balance will be a focus in this one yeah they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders i don't believe i think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off Murray now on first down. They'll roll him out right. Now he'll pull it down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray throwing the out route incomplete. That's green. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. First down, Murray. He'll buy some time right, and he's going to keep it here. Murray has it knocked loose, fumble, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. Tampa Bay coming out along with a man who needs no introduction, the great Tom Brady. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team to wins. And Brady and the Buccaneers here first and 10 at their own 46. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. 
And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. And the Cardinals, they trot out their dime package for third down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Marcus Golden, too much to handle that time, gets the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. Deep for the Cardinals, Christian Kirk. This is taken at about the 14. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cards will take over, first and 10. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. Murray now on first down. And this one caught by Max Williams. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. First carry for the 2018 Pro Bowler, James Conner. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Murray to throw on third and one. And that will be incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get untracked in this one. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. Back deep, Jadon Mickens. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Shotgun now for Brady. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. 
Brady now on first down. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. A gain of six there on first. I think defensively, you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. And he finds Howard complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 23. Brady to throw again. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. On the screen, Bernard. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Tom Brady with a touchdown pass to Chris Godwin. And the Bucs have taken a first quarter lead. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? Ryan suck up on for the point after. And that one gives the Bucks a seven to nothing lead. So this drive spans seven plays and it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. On the return, here's Edmonds. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 27. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. He finds an opening past the 40. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. 
We often give credit to the O-line. There, two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Murray. On oh, the slant complete to Green. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Shotgun now from Murray. And caught right side, Green. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Play action. Now it's Murray rolling to his right. He's, oh, now Murray has it stripped, and the Buccaneers have it. You think about it, Charles, this is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot, and that time he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive, not going to get into the open field very often. Remember, he's not Lamar Jackson, not Michael Vick back in the day. Always has to protect the football because there's always going to be people around. The Buccaneers in good field position here to start out first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now after the fumble recovery, it's Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. This is unbelievable. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. Brady gives this one off to Jones. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well. But when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him. And some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. On second down now, Bernard. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, got to make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The card's going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Third and two, and they ran the ball for only one yard, and everybody's going to scream at the offense. Well, let's give a lot of credit to the defense on that play. Defensive front out leveraged the offensive line. They got more people to the football. Yeah, they won that battle in a big way, and they're forcing a big decision now by the guys on offense.
Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll kick it away for the second time. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And they won't risk defending a return here. That one's out of bounds, and it'll be spotted, spotted at the 14-yard line. The football going back over to Arizona now. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt like they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And he'll go down just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Throwing on first down is Murray. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. It's a gain of 11 and a Cardinal first down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. On first and 10, here's Murray. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. to throw again. Murray. He'll get this underneath Edmonds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. On the run is counter. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. 
The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. In this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. From the gun, Murray on the slant, complete to Hopkins. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs' 24-yard line. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. Play action, it's Murray rolling to his left. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. Second and eight. Connor. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. A 22-yard scamper. And the Cardinals are just an extra point away from tying this game. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Taking it about the one. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Off of play action, he'll look to throw. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. That one goes for 24 yards. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, 
got him into the right protection scheme so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. So the ref takes a peek here, wants to see if the receiver had possession and both feet inbounds. If this were a college game, this would be a legal catch. It's the second foot that they're looking at to make sure it gets down. You have to have two inbounds in the NFL. And the challenge pays dividends. The ref overturns the play. Everyone gets a bonus on this one, Brandon. The coach upstairs who says it's a signal down and said challenge it. And the head coach for pulling the red flag. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line. So it's second and ten. On the draw, here's Bernard. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Delayed give there out of the gun. Defense was ready. And I'm not a big fan of a draw play out of the shotgun formation because the quarterback's not having much action where he's getting away from the line of scrimmage. He's catching the football, making a little head fake, and then handing it off. You should be able to read it as they did there. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, it's Brady. And that is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. <laughs> He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Oh, the return is Kirk. They'll call this a 41-yard punt, seven on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that formula? That would be the number one thing you would think of, but so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But, you know, there was a big-time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, <laughs> if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> he would have kissed it on the ground. <laughs> nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Play fake. Murray. Sliding out of the pocket. And now he's going to use his legs. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. That's not good enough, man. And they were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. Usually going to pick up a holding call. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Here's Murray. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. from the gun. Murray. And able to find Kirk complete. 
And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. On first and 10 is Connor. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. There to stop him was Carlton Davis. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the gun, Murray. That is incomplete. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. The Cardinals on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and five. Operating from the gun, Murray. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they're gonna mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. Here's Andy Lee now as he's on to punt for Arizona. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Back now comes Tampa Bay. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. First down. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back to back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Brady's saying, let's go, as he'll hustle him to the line. On first down, Brady. 
pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Chandler Jones, it'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Clock running, the box try to go quickly and get set. After the sack on first down, Brady throwing the out route incomplete. That's Evans. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, balls delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Throwing is Brady on third down. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this punt sails over the sideline, and the spot, it looks to be right at the 25-yard line. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven hour score. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. Taken about seven yards deep. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. The second half starts with a carry by Jones. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Tackle made there by Jordan Hicks. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. They'll break them up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Shotgun now for Brady. This is caught by Antonio Brown. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. They'll run it with Jones. He's got the first down and more past midfield. 
And finally brought down at the 38. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. If they're going to try to complete this comeback, they need more runs like that from him because until that point, he's been virtually shut down. And based on where they are right now in this game, you would expect the ball to be in the air, but his ability to break off those types of runs, you can get big chunk plays on the ground as well, and he just provided one. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 38. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Now a carry for Bernard. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one a gain of 20 in a first down. That was good tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Over the middle here to Brown. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. A gain of six there on first. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Working from the gun, it's Brady. This is caught, Gronkowski. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Brady on target to Gronk, first down Buccaneers. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. That's an excellent stop right there here in this tie game. They're doing their best to hold the fort and at least force a field goal attempt. One back in the game, that's Jones, second and goal. To throw, it's Brady. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, Brandon, we see why it's a team game there, because there's a sigh of relief that they just released defensively. If he's able to get that one away, it's likely a touchdown. But instead, that pressure from the front got to him and forced the incompletion. You're right. He had him open just a split second too late on the release. Brady now on third and goal. Now they're staring at a fourth down as Arizona's defense does its job. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field. But defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure. That's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. On fourth down, Ryan Suckup now for the Buccaneer field goal. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through. And the Bucs take a 3-0 lead.
Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. The putter pinion now to kick this one away. On the return, here's Edmonds. And he won't quite make it to the 25. That's the way to make the play, man. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Murray now on first down. Man open left side. It's Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Levante David, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't. Not until you balance it with the error side. You know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. But that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. Yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold him to no gain. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Now here's a throw caught by Gronkowski. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. 15 yards on the play, first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Throwing on first down is Brady. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the gun, Brady over the middle complete. That's Brown, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Six yards the pickup, and that's a first down. 
I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Again, it's Brady. That is caught at the seven yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Seven yards on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. From the six now on second and three. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. Brady. This will be caught at about the six. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tom Brady hooking up with Mike Evans there. And the Buccaneers here finding a way to stretch their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is lets you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. It's good to make it 17-7. So that winds up a seven-play drive, all told. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucks. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. On the return, here's Edmonds. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. I'm ready to take over, baby. Stand up. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Throwing now is Murray. Hopkins on the grab over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Oh, that was a pretty route right there because it's all about finding a window on a route like that. He lined up on his left, ran the deep in route over the middle, and the ball was right where it needed to be. 
Really good trust between quarterback and receiver. Really good completion. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll run here with counter. Levante David in on the tackle. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. From the 44, Murray got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 33. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Shotgun now for Murray. He'll get this to his running back, Edmonds. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. From the gun, Murray. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks' 13-yard line. So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Flush to his right. He'll try and run it. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. From the three, second and a yard. Big stop, D. Big stop. Let's go. Operating from the gun. Murray. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. And Dominican Sue credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. The Cardinals on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. From the gun, Murray. Buying time to his left. And he's going to go down again. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. 
They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17-10. to All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Prater now will send it away following the main field goal. Taking it about the one. And a decent return out to the 27 yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. It's Brady. They'll find Miller. That's complete. Three yards the game there, second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. On first and 10, here's Brady. And his throw here's incomplete. He was trying to find O.J. Howard. And that'll bring up second down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Here's Jones. Five yards, now it's third and five. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Bucks on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and five. Operating from the gun. Brady. He gets it to Brown. Good play. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. Antonio Brown, A.B., with just one hand to complete that catch. Is there anything he can't do? He has just continued to impress year after year, hasn't he? He has never forgotten that he wasn't considered an elite receiver coming out of college. I think every snap, he takes it upon himself to prove that he should have been. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 43. On the delay, Jones. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. No luck whatsoever there on the draw. Yeah, they're supposed to use their aggressiveness against them. That was the hope. But maybe they had too big of a meal last night. A half step slow, and he ends up running right into the meat of the defense. Again, 
Looking to throw on second down. Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Five yards. Now it's third and five. The Bucks on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This will be third and five. From the gun, Brady. Open man has got one, it's complete. And he is gonna have a Bucks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Brady finding Godwin there for a Buccaneer first. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. down carry by Jones and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field while the training staff works on him we'll step aside and be right back Now a first and 10 at the 11. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Brady. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. Flash those fast feet, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line as he can't get any closer to the end zone. From the five, second and four. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. And the lead is up to 14. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. 
But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. First down, Murray. He'll run it. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Only needing two yards on second down. From the gun, Murray. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. The Cardinals on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This time they face a third and two. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. The officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten. Operating from the gun. Murray on the slant complete to Hopkins. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Great change up there on the route and got that inside release, made it a successful pitch and catch. Well, the first thing you want to do is have him thinking that you're going outside. Make a move in that direction. Then you really don't run the route against the whole body of the defender. You run against a half of him. And the inside half, and he took it right across his face, got inside, and won that route in a big way. Throwing on first down is Murray. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Single, 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 single. Back to the air on second down, it's Murray. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Williams. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the 5 at the 6. Three yards the game there, second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. The pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. But now it's third and goal. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Murray now, third and goal. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. 
Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Prater on to add the extra point. He's got it, and it's 24-17. So that drive goes eight plays, and the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. A little less than 90 seconds to go. This will be an onside kick. And the Buccaneers able to recover. Their hands team does its job. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. The Buccaneers offense ready to rock and roll again. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. First down, Bernard. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. to the ground this time with Jones first down and much more here for Jones now the card's going to call another timeout their second and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they go. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Victory formation now for the Buccaneers. Down to a knee they go. And with a third and 13 here, the defense in a dime look. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. So time has run out on what will be a Tampa Bay victory. And I tell you, this was a fun one. Just a close game. Nothing comes easy in this league, as you know. They had to work for that victory. I've got to go back to what you just said. Nothing comes easy in this league. How many times have we talked to coaches prior to a game and assessed 
you know, the strengths, the weaknesses, the whole deal. Even in games when one coach was a decided favorite, what do they always say to us? But you do know, this is really a seven-point league. Seven points either way usually decides a ball game. We had exactly that in this one. And not only that, but this is a gutsy road victory, one they can hang their hat on. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.